My name is Steve Thompson. This is a very quick version of Moore's Circle. If you want to see a longer version, have a look at my other videos. We're going to construct Moore's Circle for this element. First thing is to put in an x and y axis as a reference point. Construct our Moore's Circle axes, normal stress and shear stress. First thing we need to do is to plot our x and y stresses. This stress acts in the x axis, we call it stress x. This stress acts on this face of my element, and so does that shear. We therefore gather those two and refer to this as stress x values, my normal stress and shear stress. I draw my normal stress on the axis, I draw my shear stress vertically, and I label that point x. Very important to label these points. Now for my y stresses, I have no normal stress in the y axis, so that goes zero on this axis and my shear will be negative 40 at this point and label that y. I then construct my line between the two, center of the circle and construct Moore's circle for that. My principal stresses, maximum principal stress, minimum principal stress and maximum shear stress. To draw a principal element, this is my x axis and this is my x stress so we can call this in a sense my x-axis on the circle and this would therefore be the y-axis pointing to the y-stress. Note that these are 180 apart when my x and y down here will be 90 apart. My principal axis will be the one with the principal stress on it and this axis is 45 degrees clockwise from x. Note the single headed arrow from x. I would therefore take that divide up by 2 and draw my axis, my real axis down here at half of that angle going in the same direction, clockwise from x. I can now take my stress of 97, it is a positive stress, I can draw my tensile arrows on that, construct my element at that direction, note that there is no shear on this point, it is on the axis, zero height line so it is no shear on my principal element. My other axis for my element is 90 away on my element therefore it will be 180 degrees away here and that will be my minus 16 value. Minus 16 means my arrows are compressive and take that stress and write it onto there. That's my element completed. Next thing I want to draw will be my element of maximum shear. Maximum shear will occur here on my circle. It is a shear value of positive 56. X and Y axis, to get to my element of maximum shear, I need to go anti-clockwise 45 degrees. So anti-clockwise, half of that. Along this line will lie the normal stress for this point. My normal stress is 40. Put that on there. It is tensile construct my element and put my shear, positive 56, on this surface, rotating my element clockwise. The other axis on my element down here will come from the other side of the circle. The 40 tensile, I can put that onto my element. I know that it is tensile and the shear is negative 56. Completing those, I now need the arrows on this side of the diagram and that's that one done. If I want to draw an element at 30 degrees rotated anti-clockwise from x, so x-axis 30 degrees anti-clockwise, I want an element drawn here. On my circle it would therefore be 60 degrees anti-clockwise from x. Put my line through the circle. This point has a normal stress of 24 and a shear of 54. My normal of 24 can go here construct my element, put my shear on that of positive 54 going clockwise and the other face of my element comes from the other side of the circle. Its normal stress is 56, tensile 56 and its shear will be negative 54 in here. Put the other arrows on and done.